And I just want to say we're going to be doing a homemade pie crust. I promise you it's the easy one. And it's probably one of the best, one, better ones you'll make. It really holds up nicely. Okay. Hey guys, here we go. We have three cups of flour. We have one tablespoon. Oops, you can't even see. Three cups of flour. Two, one tablespoon of sugar. I have one teaspoon of salt. I'm using salted butter, so I did not, and this is table salt, so that's stronger than kosher salt. So I used about three quarters of a teaspoon. You could use a little less. Um, or, or I should say, if you're using kosher salt, you could use up to one teaspoon, but I'm not, so that's why it's less than I'm using uh, salted butter. I have one and a half sticks of cold butter. I'm gonna cube it and put it in here later. I have one third of a cup of my Crisco. If you only have butter flavored Crisco, that's fine. Because you know what? There's going to be butter in the crust anyway. So why not use butter flavored Crisco if you can? And I have a half a cup of ice cold water. Okay. So first steps are we're going to dump the three cups of flour into your... Um, I'm using a food processor. I suggest you do too. Okay. Putting the one tablespoon of sugar in. And I'm gonna put my, you know, almost a teaspoon of salt in. And now I'm gonna pulse this, um, just to mix it real quick. Maybe three, uh, four or five seconds. When you hear it, like, I, I'm using just my finger to control it. That's it. Work fast with your butter. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it into little chunks like this and just get it going you could do smaller if you wish and this is all I'm gonna do guys okay I chopped up the butter and the Crisco I threw it in here and I want to get ready to pulse two things I have another pie dough recipe that I use just Crisco and um, it's a really good crust and it's really yummy delicious and something I've been eating all my childhood but sometimes it can be a little temperamental. I'm not in the mood to deal with a temperamental crust, but it's good. Um, this one, but but uh, either way, when you do it in the food processor, you have to only pulse this because if you just put it on bzzz, like that, you're going to take a chance of warming your butter because the motor in here gets warm and that's what can melt your butter. Not melt it like liquid, but makes it softer. So this is all I'm going to do. Just like this. I'm gonna keep doing that until this gets the size of like peas or pebbly. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, can you see that texture? Oh, you can't. Can you see that texture? Just like that. Now I'm gonna put the lid back on and stream the water in. And then just later, it's just, you know, I'm going to be making another pumpkin pie. I'm going to throw one recipe out because I already made it uh, a pumpkin pie. But I'm going to do my grandma's pumpkin pie that has molasses in it. And I'm also going to be doing a edible cookie dough. But let me show you what we do with the uh, water. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Okay, I was not going to be lazy. I had to put my lid on because I can't do both hold and pulse. I'm going to, this is a half a cup of ice cold water. If I need to add a pinch more, I can. If I want to go a little less, I will. But I'm going to do a steady stream. A slow, steady stream, guys. I don't know if you can see that. Hang on. I apologize if you couldn't see that. But here is the water. I'll try to see if I can see it. This is the slow, steady stream. Just like that. Okay, I think you saw that enough. Guys, we're going to keep pulsing this until um, it starts to pull away from the sides, which you'll see because it's already starting to do it. And it's going to form a bowl, a ball, and then we're going to stop it. So. Okay. There should be no reason why you have to scrape down your bowl. If you want to, you can. I'm not.
Guys, that's good enough. I'm going to take it out now. I'm going to um, put it in a piece of saran wrap. I'm going to, well, I'll show you. I'm going to make a disc out of it and then wrap it in saran wrap and stick it in the uh, refrigerator. Guys, here it is. This is what it looks like. I'm just going to form it into a little bit of a ball, not play with it too much. I have saran wrap down. And I'll show you in a minute what we'll do next. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to form it into that disc that I want because later when this is enough for two crusts so you could do a two nine and nine and a half inch um single layer pies or you could do just do one double layer pie like an apple pie bottom crust top crust so i'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and i just start this is what i do to my crust just start getting it ready and i'm gonna stick this in there to chill for about uh 30 to uh 45 minutes and that's it and this is what it will look like and it's supposed to be a little sticky, a little tacky. Nothing drastic. It's not sticking to your fingers. But you can feel it's a little tacky, if you will. And that's fine, so we're going to be putting flour down on the board and on the bowling uh, and on the um, rolling pin. Floured um, my mat. You could use just your dining room table. If you have a smooth uh, oven top, that works just like that. Guys, here is the dough. And over here in this bowl, if you could take a quick peek, this is... My grandmother's pumpkin pie recipe, as I said, I have to, I'll be posting two. They're, they're two different uh, pumpkin pie recipes. But here that is. Um, and back to the dough. So I'm just going to take a knife and actually just cut this in half. Guys, I'm just going to eyeball it right down the middle. And then I'll form it into two balls and see if it's even. Get my flour ready. And what I do is I sprinkle a little bit more down like this. Let me switch hands like this. I'll flip it back. Put a little bit more down like that. And just go like this. And just like that. It's a nice, beautiful dough. It's so easy to work with. Okay, let me do my rolling pin and I'll be back. When I made my homemade cinnamon rolls, and trust me, they taste just like cinnamon bun, even better than cinnamon bun. But anyway, I have a link. Uh, I made the recipe. But anyway, um, this mat likes to move. But all you're going to do is roll your dough in nice, even, um, little up and down strokes. And then you could turn it. You can flip it. You may have to put more flour on the bottom of this. That's fine. But this is all you're going to do until we get a nice circle. Back and forth. And like this, you just want to circle. Okay, guys, I rolled it onto my um, rolling pin. Now I want to unroll it. And this never tore once. It doesn't rip. It gives. It stretches. It's so flexible. These are for my nails. They get into it. But you just push it in here. Like this. Okay, my nails keep poking it. But just like this, you press it all around the sides. You need a little overhang right now until we crimp the top. But this is it. Okay. Beautiful dough. It rolls so easy and does not rip or tear. I Like I said, I do another one. That's Crisco. And it can be temperamental. So now you just do as pretty or as ugly as you want. But I'm not doing mine pretty. And then I'm going to take a knife and cut off all the extra I just want to make sure we get something okay and this is what I'm going to do crust and this is what you have now I'm going to go back to my pumpkin pie recipe and go finish this pumpkin pie recipe that is but here's your pie crust and again guys I promise you it is one of the best crusts you will ever work with it's so easy it's not that the temperamental and I've never once had any trouble with this ripping or tearing or Anything being dry, nothing. This is perfect. I promise you, perfect, perfect, perfect.